Mr. Bigley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbeagly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbeagly, and I'm once again playing another random one shot from over on Itch.io. This is a game with a mouthful of a title. It's Mr. Mayor tells your fortune, recounts a story, and offers you snacks. We have Mr. Mayor here on the home screen. He's looking kind of like the Pringles guy with like two little long legs and a hat. I, I don't really understand what he's supposed to be besides a mayor, so we should at least give him the respect he deserves as a mayor. I love that it's called a regrettable digital object. I guess this was also made in only like 50-ish hours for something called Train Jam, where a bunch of devs on a train are going to some sort of like game development convention or something or gaming convention. And on the train, they have to code and create a game, which is very impressive. But anyway, let's go ahead. Let's try this out. I love the like Wii style music and the graphics look super goofy. I don't know what this game's actually about, though. Hola, it's me, Mr. Mayor. Oh God, he uses his feet as hands also. That's gotta be very, you know, not very hygienic, dude. <laughs> I'll be, <laughs> look at the little dance he's doing. I'll be peeping into your future. Zooms in just a few short, wait, future zooms in just a few short seconds. Future zooms, what the hell? What are you talking about, man? We shall begineth now. I, I, I have a weird feeling not everything is right up in the head of Mr. Mayor there. <laughs> oh God, you're awfully close. I have a pack of mysterious cards. I shall be picking three cards for you. Then I look at them cards and tell you what they means. <laughs> nice crimbles. <laughs> I love the terminology that he's using. Oh, look at that wavy, majestic mustache. Very nice, Mr. Mayor. God, let me see my cards, man. Ooh, it says milk. <laughs> look out, it's the sticky parchment of milky reminderin. Next card is... Ooh, what's it gonna be? I'm so excited. I love the camera angles. Oh God, where did that, where did that come out of? Was that your mouth or was that something else that I don't want to know? Cause that's, you know, your head's sort of your body, but uh, I'm, I'm very confused. Oh me, oh my, the original Mr. Mayor. Oh, look at it, it looks like a potato. <laughs> what's the next card, I wonder? Oh God, oh, oh, okay, get down on the flow. Oh my God, you, yeah, you laid an egg. Ooh, it must be super special. Oh boy, I don't know if I want this one. It seems sort of sticky. It's the Dwelf of Clubses. <laughs> I love the way that he talks. It reminds me so much. There's this old webtoon that I loved when I was a kid called Homestar Runner. It was on homestarrunner.com. I'm sure the site's still up. I'm not 100% sure, but I think the site's still up. But it was like a flash webtoon, and it just had these goofy characters that you didn't really know what they were supposed to be, and they made like weird words up, and they just talked like this, like you're supposed to know what they're talking about. It was so fantastic. Anyway. <laughs> My sweet, it's time to buy a grave. Wait, why? Are you going to kill me? This reading is terribly not great. Oh God, I guess my fortune is horrible. I'm gonna freaking die, dude. <laughs> Don't be worry, you about to make friends. Let me think. Oh God, there's so many little Mr. Mares there that are knocking over big Mr. Mayor. Holy God, it's an endless reign of Mr. Mares. <laughs> and then you will find some food. Oh good, I, I, I hope so. Oh my God, there's so many of you. And then you will have so many joyous flutes. Oh good, I, I, I don't want any sort of depressing flutes. Joyous flutes sounds very good to me. Hmm, now for the real reason you came here, my stories. Yes, I would love a story. <laughs> I don't remember when it was. I was sunbathing at work. <laughs> What do you do for a job, Mr. Mayor? I, I mean, I guess you're a mayor, so that's probably your job. You watch over the town, you make some important decisions here and there. You go cut some fancy ribbons at the grand opening of businesses and such. Uh, I guess you could be sunbathing. You open a new beach, maybe. I don't know. I, I guess I should probably not try to apply logic to this guy. <laughs> but life had other plans. Many mooms pass. <laughs> ah, yes, the full moom. They had poisoned my pork. How rude. Wait, who did? Oh no, Mr. Mayor, I hope you're okay. You don't look okay after the poison. Oh boy, you look very un-okay. But it was okay. <laughs> I don't know if I can believe you. Because I found a bunch of bones shortly afterwards. Oh yes, bones, my favorite thing to find while sunbathing and being poisoned. But by then, of course it was when I was just a boy. <laughs> Many time pass. <laughs> And that's why you never sleep in the hat store. Oh my, thank you so much. I'm glad that the moral of the story was revealed to me. So guys, if you go sunbathing at work, make sure that you don't get poisoned pork because 
You know, if you take a nap in the hat store, then bad things happen apparently when you're just a boy. Oh heck, <laughs> oh heck indeed. Please try some of my solid choco truffles. It is in the kitchen. Um, okay, is that's a solid choco truffle? That looks like a trophy of you, sir. I feel like you're trying to give me something that's not very edible here. Um, okay, that was my snack, great. Solid choco, oh no, this is the solid choco truffles. Uh, no thank you. Um, I think I'll pass on that one, okay. <laughs> All right, so that was the game. That was the whole game of Mr. Mayor tells your fortune, recounts a story, and offers you snacks. Um, I have this weird feeling that maybe this is randomly generated. I want to go in again, see if maybe he gives me a different snack or a different story, or, or maybe he does different dance moves, transforms into different things. I like Mr. Mayor. He's a happy-go-lucky guy. He's just here to help me out. He's trying to give me some advice through my fortune, through stories of his own experiences when he was just a boy, and he's also trying trying to keep me nourished with some delicious snacks. So let's go ahead, let's talk to him again. They call me Mr. Mayor, hello. I think that might have been a different greeting than we got the first time. I shall be using my magical right bean to tell your fortune this joyous morn. Yes, that's very different than what we got before. Okay, so this is, uh, I'm assuming, randomly generated. This is fantastic, I love this, I love this so much. I know there's not a lot of gameplay, but just interacting with Mr. Mayor, gosh, it's just like kicking back with some old friends, you know. <laughs> All right. Please be sit. Oh, okay. You are so close to me demanding that. I am, uh, Mr. Mayor. I'm, I'm already sitting, sir. I can't sit any more than I'm sitting. <laughs> I have a pack of fortune telling cards. I will be choosing one, two, three cards for you. Then we commence with my wise readings. <laughs> Tasty crumbles. <laughs> Oh, those crimbles again. All right, here we go. Oh, I got a bumblebee. I'm so excited, guys. Let's see what my fortune is now. Hopefully it's not the death fortune again. That was a bad one. That was not my favorite thing to be dead. Hello, the large bee. Let's look at the next one. Ooh, what's under the hat? Oh wait, no, this is the one that comes out of your mouth, anus. That's right. Oh, hello, I didn't see you there. <laughs> you forgot I was here? Mr. Mayor, we're longtime friends. We've already gone through this. The cursed crown. Then, oh boy. I don't like the cursed crown. I don't want bad fortune again. I want today to go very well. Lay your egg. Okay, so this part's the same of him laying the egg, but we are getting different cards. Oh boy. Heckity boo. <laughs> it's the zoom glass. Ah, yes, a good old zoom glass. Let us begin henceforthly, sweet angel. <laughs> oh, this card means your life is incredibly gloomy. No, Mr. Mayor, why do you only have bad things to tell me? Also, why did you turn into an inchworm slug thing? Oh my, okay. Have you tried being less <laughs> mossy? <laughs> you know, I do sit still for a very long time and I like being out in the sun. Maybe I'm growing a bit too much moss. Maybe the mayor's got a point here. Mr. Mayor, you're so freaking wise, man. Now give me some more, you know, wisdom through your stories, your anecdotes, <laughs> whatever the fuck is going on in this game. Oh no, maybe not. Just ignore me. Hmm, oh Poppet, you have been so kind to come here for a reading. Let me reward you with story. <laughs> I don't remember when it was. I had just laid an egg. Oh, was it just now? Was it just a moment ago? You literally just did that for me. But my right bean was a tingling. Some time later. <laughs> and they had it in for Mayor Senpai. They did <laughs> Mayor Senpai. Oh my God. Holy crap. Amazing. However, it wasn't exactly unexpected. Mm -hmm. I got a call from an old pal just then. Laters that evening. Thanks for listening. Can I interest you in some recently shaved cereal tots? <laughs> I use them as a rust cleaner sometimes. Oh, that's a that's a good use for uh, recently shaved cereal tarts. You know, I normally just eat my cereal tarts. I, I guess, you know, you can shave them and then take rust away. There you, There's science there for you guys. I don't know what's happening in this game. <laughs> Recently shaved cereal tarts. There they are, guys. They look just as appetizing as the uh, the choco, whatever the hell he tried to give me before. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I am just I, I'm just blown away by the amount of wisdom that's in this game. I feel like my life has been completely transformed. I think that my life outlook has changed for the better. I think that I'm gonna definitely try to be less mossy moving forward. I think that might be one of my biggest issues that I really struggled with in the past was just like, you know, becoming very mossy. And I've had friends 
bring it up before and I've gotten really defensive because maybe they were too close to the source. Maybe it was too personal when they brought up my mossiness. But hearing it from Mr. Mayor, a man who has lived a long life full of many great experiences, doing things like whatever the fuck his stories were about, laying eggs with his right bean, you know, this is stuff that's coming from an expert on life. And I'm so glad that I got to talk with him. So glad that I got to, to share in his cuisine, his culinary wisdom as well. That stuff was, it was just delicious looking. It's great. If, if you guys want the recipes uh, that were featured in this game, I will leave a link down below in the description so you can download it for free from over on Itch.io. But hopefully you enjoyed this little experience. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And as always, it was great seeing you. Bye-bye. Derpy, please.